वेलकम टू पवित्र लैपटॉप केयर सो पवित्र लैपटॉप में आपका स्वागत है टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस रिगार्डिंग टेंथ जनरेशन लैपटॉप एच पी टू फिफ्टी जी सेवन एंड दिस सर्विस इज डेडिकेटेड टू मिस्टर परम वेलकम परम सो ही हैज लर्न बी इन सेक्शन एंड ऑल सो इन आई सी लेवल इज स्टडिंग नाउ बट टूडे इट्स अ टेंथ जनरेशन बोर्ड हैज कम फॉर रिपेयर थिंग्स सो टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन हिम हाउ टू डू द लैपटॉप सर्विस वॉट एवर इट मे बी इट्स अ फर्स्ट जनरेशन और टेंथ जनरेशन सो विदाउट एनी फियर सो वी हैव टू डू स्टेप बाई स्टेप सर्विस दैट आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन टू हिम ओके मिस्टर परम वॉट द इश्यू विद दिस लैपटॉप प्लीज एक्सप्लेन मी एच पी सर्विस सेंटर हम बंद लैपटाप ओके इट हेज कम फ्रम एच पी सर्विस सेंटर ओके फोन मेट जस्ट मेट आई टेक द मॉडल नंबर नाउ इट्स विजिबल एच पी टू फिफ्टी जी सेवन ओके सर्विस सेंटर हम रिटर्न बंद रिटर्न ओके कस्टमर गिवन टू एच पी सर्विस सेंटर एंड इट हेज रिटर्न बैक सो इट्स नाट रिपेरबल and uh, he wants board. to change the motherboard right dead okay. board antu kodidara avaru helidarante service center avaru this is the service motherboard what is the part number okay other side it will be there show me that yeah here yeah. la what is that red la hmm ipan hmm j951p ante okay la j951p yes uh year is 2020 04 22 okay it's a 10th generation motherboard Uh, 250 G7 HP van. Okay. Hmm. condition now ready What the condition of this laptop? Dead. Completely Completely dead. dead. Completely dead. Completely dead. Okay. Yes, sir. But anyway, uh, I will teach you what the problem and what was the problem okay. in this and uh, what they did that we don't know. But let me check completely one by one. Okay. Yes, we can repair it or not. That's the secondary things. But we can troubleshoot it. Okay. Okay, Mr. Param. See, this is the tenth generation motherboard. Okay, don't afraid. Any kind of generation will come, so easily we can handle it if you know the basic things. Okay, first thing is any motherboard. First we need to check the impedance level. If any shorts, we come to know in this. Okay, first this one, a red prop. You have to keep it in ground mode. Okay, in actually usually for voltage check and all first. black will go to ground but in case of impedance you need to keep this to ground this coil for the impedance 23.2 k 6k okay this one is good there is no short in that 3.8k yes. that also good no short this is the ram section this is also good okay around 400 and 500 uh, ohms here good it's also good hmm it's a 3.2k and yes yes this is also good this here one. this yes. also good this one yes no impedance one yes this also good see we checked all the coil all main coils okay in my one more video uh, actually same board almost of 8 10 months over i think so in that video i explained all the things in working motherboard what are the impedance and what are the voltages and all coil voltages and all if you want you can uh, check that video also okay you come to know and i explained all coil voltages each and every block hmm? anyway now impedance are good but uh, we don't know where it has short exactly hmm? short or uh, where it's dropping the voltage first through the schematic i'll explain you what are the issues and all okay and uh, what are the checking points in this i'll explain in schematic okay param now we will check the schematic so i will explain some points okay please note down Next, we go to charging section in the schematic. See, you need to search Control F. Charging. Yes. 
charger okay here one it's a bq24735 charging ic has been used here okay next i'll tell you one by one charger see this is the charger page see before this first we need to check the dc jack okay this is battery section and this is the dc jack once we plug the uh, adapter first we need to check positive connectors it's a pin number 1 and 2 and here it's a ground next adapter id I already informed you in Dell section also. This is uh, in HP case. It's adapter ID, not PSID. Okay. Mm. Here, these two AC in LED and uh, charging LED. See, first once we connect the charger, so this positive point will come to this particular inductor. Then it will become as a 19 volts V in section. Okay. You know the point. Uh, Note down first point. DC jack. Ah, huh, DC jack. Number two, this coil section, 19 V, 19 volts underscore V in. Number two. Number two, coil section. We will check in coil. Okay. PL12 or PL11. Hmm. PL12 or PL11. Number three, adapter signal. in pd3 it's a zener diode has given it provides on constant provides a constant voltage okay in this path usually in any hp so 1 or 1.5 volts we will get but according to that zener so we will get the cutoff voltage okay but we don't know let me check so third point over right so zener diode it's a pd3 okay second thing is this is a charging section 19 volts we in it came to what is that pqb11 it's npn uh, mosfet sorry p uh, n channel mosfet okay here this both are n channel here gate will be high compared to p channel okay in p channel approximate 8 to 10 volts will be there or below that in p sorry in n channel minimum 23 to 25 volts will come usually 25 will come okay see these gates yes uh, these gate voltage coming from charging ic okay simply i'll tell you what are the checking point see this prb1 no don't please or one ah prb1 it's a clr voltage yeah prb1 ah prb1 if we are getting v in here i mean p2 here then we can check this clr voltage okay next prb11 next ha ah, here some more voltages are there input voltage of this particular ic we can check okay this is charging ic charger ic bq24735 okay in that you can write out pin number 20 Uh, comma one, comma two, comma three, comma four, comma five, and six, hmm. and ten. First, these are the basic points. Okay, basic checks we have to do. Next, we have to go to the three volts always. PL three zero two. Next, PL three zero one. Five volts always. In any laptop. voltage will come through the dc jack right so after that it passes to it convert as a v in section through a inductor after that so it goes to mosfets first and second mosfet it will go it's a p1 it will become as a p1 and p2 and then clr voltage it's a b plus or whatever it may be it's a depends on motherboard here actually what they called they called as a 19 vb okay after p2 in clr after clr we will get this one voltage this voltage basic thing is this is the main important voltage which goes to 
the motherboard all over the part okay after finishing this second basic voltage is this is the main thing 3 vl this is called ldo voltage here we see in ac okay and here see through the voltage divider circuit the ac detect voltage has come in this particular voltage we will calculate and we will uh, we'll check this voltage pin number 6 and see this are the point point means jumper points so if you if we remove this this track is different and this track will be different see this track uh, goes to 3 vl plus 3 vl in the name of 3 vl and this section will goes to 3 vlp okay so here same thing here 3 volts always p one name is there that will become as a 3 volts always what are the section one is dc jack second one is cal section right pl12 and pl11 and uh, adapter id so pd3 prb1 prb11 what is that input of all uh, uh, what is it it's actually 735 okay bq24735 hmm? this is charging ic pin number 21 2 3 4 5 6 10 6 10 6 and 10 PL three zero two, PL three zero one. Okay. See, first, if you note down in a paper, so it will be very easy to uh, uh, do the troubleshooting and all. Okay. That is the reason I am telling you to note down the uh, note down in a paper. See, this is a DC jack, right? Yes. First voltage will come in red. Uh, what is that? Red cable is there, right? See here. This is the red cable, mm -hmm. and black is the negative one, and uh, here is the adapter ID. Uh, middle one is not connected. So is the adapter ready and uh, LED lights and all, so on, so on. So now, first B plus we will check. I mean voltage coming or not, that one we will check. See, in DC jack, the zero is showing, right? So I will connect the DC jack. See, it went to 45 and came to one. Now it means in the motherboard. In this motherboard, 19 supply may be correct one. Okay, there is no issue with 19 supply. If any issue with 19 supply, uh, it won't show so, uh, uh, 0.001. It directly shows some 5 amps and more than that amps. So immediately we need to switch off the DC and then we have to troubleshoot the DC. I mean, uh, uh, what is that win point? Okay. See, this is a DC jack, right? See, 19 point 52. Okay, 51 or 52. Okay, DC is okay. And uh, next coil voltage. Next one. Well, coil PL twelve R eleven right. Yes. Which is the coil? Coil coil coil. Yeah. See PL PL twelve is not there. PL eleven is there. Mm. Here. Nineteen point five one. Nineteen point five one. Okay. Then. Then uh, adapter. Uh, adapter signal. Adapter signal. Okay, adapter PD3. signal. PD three. PD three. Yeah, here is the PD three. This is adapter ID. Okay. See, point four six four. Okay. Maybe because of uh, zener diode, its a fixed voltage is point four six four. Okay. Next. P R B one. P R B one. Yes, this is C L R voltage. Nineteen point five two. It means uh, first MOSFET and second MOSFET are okay, okay. because nineteen volts passing from D C jack to C L R. This V N section is okay. This same nineteen uh, volts will pass throughout the motherboard. In particular section, it will go. Uh, if uh, it depends on requirement okay now next next prb 11 prb 11 prb what is that prb prb 1 hmm? prb 11 11 what is that i think uh, another one this is the one right it's uh, plb prb yes so this one is battery clr See 2.8, 2.9. Oh, battery CLR is good. Then its coil also will be good. See, yes. charging section is good. Next input voltage. Hmm. 
input input voltage of this particular IC, right? Pin number one or ten? Which one? Twenty. Twenty. Twenty in VCC, right? Right. Check in multimeter. Yes, nineteen volt, ninety point two. Yeah. It's a depends on diode. Okay. okay. Pin number nice one. One. CRP, CRN, something. Yes. Ah, nineteen minutes. Such a character. This is CRN. Two. Mm -hmm. CRN maybe. This also okay. Three. This almost nineteen volts will come. Yeah. Yes, nineteen volts. Four. Fourth one is yes AC drive twenty four volts yeah. okay yes next fifth, fifth one. one it's not coming this is AC okay see this should come to the I O this is must if charging I C gives A C okay then only your I O will work okay. so it means it's not producing A C okay but input voltages are okay. Now what we check now pin number twenty and uh, one two three four yeah. everything is okay but the thing is pin number five is not giving it means it's AC okay for uh, fulfill that AC okay so mother voltage also we need to check pin number six we will check that's the easy detect pin okay two point six two point six eight okay yeah. two point eight we calculated yes. right as per uh, nineteen volts nineteen or nineteen point five volts now here it's coming it's nineteen point two volts as input. According to that, it's producing. Okay. Next Now, pin number ten. That also unable to get. Oh, here it's beep. Here it's beep. It should not beep. Damn it! Beep. Here also beep. It's a bit. I have doubt. Just a minute. I'll look. See, as per the schematic, pin number ten, ILIM. It's three volts VL. Ah, uh, here. See, this is the reason. I think so. This motherboard has dead. Yeah. Three volts is the LDO voltage. LDO. Ah, uh, that LDO voltage is not producing this. Okay. Let me check. It's uh, this particular IC is producing, or uh, some other uh, section has some issues. First step, uh, we directly we can't uh, suspect the IC. Okay. First, we need to check the basic requirements of the IC. Then we come to know it's a uh, faulty or some other sections are faulty. Okay. See, as per this, so one minute, one region is there, right? R E G N pin number sixteen. There, some voltage should be there. As P five point seven. That voltage is correct. See if PDB region voltage has come, so definitely uh, you will get the LDO. Mm. But here LDO is not producing. But pin side when I check, see pin side is good. There is no beep. Okay, I am getting outside of this register. See this one shows somewhere in P uh, what is it uh, plus three volts section mm. has some short. So this part we need to check. Just a minute. Uh, one jumper we checked, right? Uh, where it is? Where it is? Where it is? Yes. See, PJ three zero three and PJ three zero two is the three volts always. Mm. This jumper is PJ three zero three V three VP. Uh, sorry, three VL and three VLP. This point we will check. Here PJ three zero two. Okay. Here. See PJ three zero three. See, my guess is right. It has short. So here LDO has short. That's the reason you won't get any voltage in power section. I mean power switch point. Mm -hmm. In power switch point, there should be a voltage, 3.3 volts or 3.1 volts or 3 volts, 2.6, up to 1.8, I think so. Okay. Here there is no voltages. 
understood yeah. see ldo is the basic voltage it should be there it goes to io mm. there uh, io will get that input okay then it produces some output sections and all it's 3 volts vl vlp and here 3 volts vl vl i mean it's a plus 3 vl and here 3 vlp, VLP. this is a jumper point mm. here it's getting short first what we have to do now so first we have to remove the jumper point it means we have to desolder that so then we will find out two tracks one is for plus v uh, plus 3 vlp and second jumper is for plus 3 vl okay uh, once we confirm the jumper point then we come to know where exactly and which track it has uh, that shorting Okay, first we remove that jumper and then we come to the schematic thing. See. I remove the jumpers. In multimeter, we will check the continuity. Okay. Still, it has. I mean, which side it has short? That we come to know now. See, this side it's not there. Okay. Hmm. This side it has there. So it means I/O side it has there. See, it's a L. Yes, L five. Let me check in schematic I/O requirements and all. So then we come to know exactly where it is the problem. Hmm? See here. Now we remove this jumper. Okay. After removing this portion, the short was removed. Okay. Now that plus three V L P short not there. Okay. Here that plus three V L is there. No, that still short is there. first in schematic we need to search where it has gone and from where it's it has connected okay it has it has gone to multiple sections those section one by one we need to check okay first we have to copy this plus 3 vl otherwise you directly type plus 3 vl okay next this is search portion it has gone to here three volts always i see but this one is got corrected see now it's there is no yes. short in this vlp we want only plus 3 vl so not this one this one this one this one this one Uh, see here also. See in DC one the diode three like diode here also pin number three will be getting short because of this plus three VL has short. That's why. This is a lead switch. You are asking, I think so. Yeah. This one. LED. 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 Ah, see, this is the main most important thing we have to check. This is IO chip. This is IO chip schematic. This I/O number is KB nine zero five two Q. Okay, this I/O number. Here, these are the input three VL and see here on zero register are not there. It's a jumper maybe. So here it will come and it will convert as a plus three VALW EC. underscore EC. Okay, here it gone to L five also. So here it became as a plus three VLP underscore ECA. Understood? Yeah. See, these all are the input to the I/O. Uh, this is the main one. Three VALW underscore EC. It has gone to these all are the particular pin numbers. Pin number thirty three, ninety six, triple one, and one twenty four. Yeah, right on, right on, please. pin number not 22 33 96 31 and 
desolder the pin first we will check okay, okay. and one more thing one more possibility is um, i'll tell you here yeah, this portion we we can cut so and we can find out where exactly the short okay shall okay. we do that so up to till l5 it is there so first we do one thing before that we will remove this l5 coil and then we'll check this side has short or this side has short in case this side has short so we will check this path otherwise we will check this path okay okay see here here is l5 first we we'll remove this l5 because this one having short here l5 okay it has short and here also someone given jumper here so that that one also we can remove it see directly we can do otherwise by soldering gun we can remove it hmm? okay anyway let me check i will remove now Let's get it. We have to wait for some time. In a hurry, but we can't do anything. They are not soldered properly. Easily it has come. Your own jumper also is there. That one, I remove. Okay. now let it be cool let it be cool okay now we will check the continuity still beep is there or not that i don't know let me check this l5 still beep is there that side there is no beep Okay, this jumper side. Okay. Yes, no beep, and this side has beep. See, they already tested this jumper also. Okay, they cut the track and they tried this section. But I don't know why they cut and all. But what our intention is, so we need to check the track. This side has short or that side has short. Okay, as per this, so here is the short. Delta Y also has short. But outside it's not there, so it means so all I/O input has short, okay. But we can't tell exactly that I/O has short. So first we need to uh, check that basic inputs. I mean this input track may be the problem or maybe I/O may be the problem. So for confirm uh, for confirmation, this particular uh, input will be there. No, that sections I will remove. That particular pin I will uh, take out little up. and then we will check that uh, what is that is short is there or not okay so i'll show you the schematic as per the schematic what are the pins as short uh, please note on uh, mr parav so i will tell you that 33 in io pin number ha ah, 33 oh you already noted yeah. down right 33. so this one we will remove pin number 33 33 26 96 96 96 Okay. First, we do one thing. Twenty, thirty-three, and ninety-six are very easy to remove. Yeah. Those things first we will remove, okay. and then let me check what are the possibilities. So, if any one track has got a short, so then we consider it uh, consider it I/O as short. Okay. Yeah. Uh, what I am telling, see, these are input supplies, right? Thirty-three, ninety-six, triple one, and one twenty-four. First, I am removing this thirty-three, and let me check. Thirty-three pin has short, or uh, pin connect connection will be there. No, that track has short. Yes. Okay, and then ninety-six. I will try. In any one of pins are short, so then we stop this one because it's I/O issue. First, we need to replace the I/O. Yes. Then we can check. Yes. Okay. Yes. For confirmation, I am removing the uh, pin. Yes. 
okay now see pin io pin will start from this notch okay from here it will count from here it will count this is a pin number 1 pin number 1 to 32 33 to 64 and 96 okay so now which pin number we are checking 33 33 and 96 right first 33 this is 32 and here this is a 33 that one i will remove okay Slightly, you have to put the paste, not more, okay. This one is 64 and 96, 96 also, right? So, I will remove. This pin I lifted up, okay. Pin number 33. Give me the multimeter. Okay, here, see this one at the track point. I am keeping the probe. Check here. Track has short, okay. Now pin side I will check. See, pin side, just a minute, okay, see pin I will say, see there is no connectivity, here if I touch the track, so there is a connectivity, when I check the pin, see, Okay, there is no connectivity. It means this particular pin doesn't have short, uh, short pin number 33. Next, we will move to pin number 96. 96 means here. This one we will check in case pin has short, so we will stop it. Hmm? See, removing the pin, we have to do it very carefully. Once you become expert, then only you have to do. Please don't try this one because one pin has gone so then we need to replace the I.O. itself. So carefully you have to do. If you have done before there is no issues. But first time if you are doing so please be careful. See track has short. Okay. Now pin I will check. Ah, see pin number 96. Yes it has short. Okay. See, once IO pin has short, so we can't do anything. Input supply itself, it has short. So, we have to stop this uh, section. We have to replace the IO. Then only we can continue it. Until unless, please don't do any kind of R&D. Because here it's uh, understood that 3VL, LDO part has some short. Okay. Uh, means in particular section that IO section is uh, is not working but some other section will work see for example we can uh, give the DC supply and we can check what other section will work now okay. the, surely I will tell you so some section will work so remove this one we will check in DC remove this one Okay. See, 
see now I am going to connect the DC supply check the reading shall I give just you observe the DC reading it's 1 here remove this one here what is ah. here we have to connect this see this portion yes see this portion having voltage in multimeter you can check 3.3 volts is there okay this is LDO voltage huh? in one particular section LDO has come okay now we join the uh, jumper which we removed then we check that amp okay you are understanding these points right see up to that IO uh, the track that VL is okay when we connecting to that uh, VL section then air short is happening it means short is there in IO and that particular track also when we remove this IO then only we come to know where exactly the problem ok till that time uh, it's a uh, latest IC at present I don't have stock because what are the stocks it's got over so once IC comes then we will remove this and we come to know it's switching on or not ok first uh, now I will connect this uh, point what is that uh, jumper 1 uh, 3 VL to VLP VLP already removed the short only 3 VL had the problem so now it's a 3 volts is coming and uh, that 3 VL short also removed because of this jumper ok you got my point right yeah. so now we will connect this jumper and let me check in DC what are the voltage generating hmm? ok just little bit so take the iron gun just see here soldering you have to keep it for some time because it has to get heat then only perfectly it will get solder otherwise it will be uh, dry solder ok now you switch it off now we will check in DC what DC voltage will take in this condition there is no heat much ok see I am going to connect this ah, see 191 reading and let me check have uh, patience after that after sometimes it may turn to any other voltages hmm. hmm. now it's 23 23 in the sense see one particular amp rating will be there by experience you come to know uh, what reading goes for, uh, which components has wrong ok so slowly you can study this one ok at present my this condition has this IC IO as short so that one this indicating so it is showing somewhere as some short it's trying to connect but it is unable to connect okay now I'll check the voltages that 3.3 path is there right that all coil supply also we can check now see now what are the points we checked before it's a V in section we'll check in the multimeter see one by one we'll check V in ending point five one. Okay, this two ending point five one. Second coil voltage two point eight. This is charging coil uh, section. Okay, here five point one volts. See. 5 volts always has come right before it was not there mm. now this one is actually 3 volts 3.3 volts mm. yes yeah see always it has come mm. so S5 stage is working fine the thing is next stage this power on and all it belongs to the IO, IO chip so once we replace the IO chip then we come to know uh, this port will work or not ok see? 
and ldo what i told you know that ldo if ldo won't work this uh, 3 and 5 volts always it won't work so now it's working fine so now the point the junction we removed right that also i'll show you see what the voltage what the voltage 3.3 came right yeah so it had short but when we removed the till here so that io section we disconnected from that time it's working fine means we suspected the charging ic as short but that was not uh, short shorted one but second we uh, went further no so uh, when we troubleshooted further then we come to know this ic as fault it's not getting heat but then also it has short so the solution is we need to replace this ic i mean io so then we can check the further uh, sections so like this we have to troubleshoot the motherboard directly we should not uh, i mean other section we should not go but as per the uh, requirements we have to check okay this is called advanced level troubleshooting thing see blindly you should not touch the motherboard blindly you should not touch the uh, other circuits otherwise it will get short io or pch sorry pch or uh, processor will get short if by mistake if you are checking some other sections so if anything goes wrong so definitely that will get uh, short now one more thing uh, also i will show you this bias ic pin number 8 that should be 3.3 voltage if that comes then almost all sections will be okay that is the one uh, major uh, checking point Tri a tricky point will be there see this is the io program what are the program bias program we will uh, store now i mean it, it shows right uh, at the beginning f2 if you press f2 yeah, and all yeah. so that is the that program will store in this particular ic this is called bias ic in bias ic pin number 8 we have to check this see this is the notch from here if we check this is the pin number 8 pin number 8 should be 3.3 volts see Three point three volts. So it means, aram se we can make it ready this board. Once we replace the IC, I mean that IO, then we come to know this board is working or not. At present, basic voltage that three point three and five volts always are okay. Got my point right? Yes. So this is the summary of troubleshooting of any generation of board. See, first beginning you are telling uh, you are uh, unable to do. It's the latest generation. Customer may tell something. Okay, it's not like that. First, basically, if you understand, then Aram say you can do all the things. Mr. Prakash, for you also, uh, this is the points you have to note down. Okay. Anyway, without fear, you can do the motherboard troubleshooting. It may be first generation or tenth generation or thirteenth generation or in future uh, it may be whatever it may be. So as per the requirement, as per the process, you have to go. Okay. basic thing is knowledge you must gain the knowledge then only you can repair the board this is the summary we can close this particular troubleshooting chapter thank you sir okay thank you mr param thank you mr prakash thank you. Hmm?